Hey, what's up guys? It's the same old G. And uh, <clears throat> I'm late at night, walking in the neighborhood, and uh, I want to talk some. Uh, I want to talk some RPGs. So, I uh, this is for the RPG learning group page, uh, and it's a promise for Runeslinger. It's about Burning Empires. So this is the last game I've been learning uh, this summer. I've been le learning it for a long time though. I've been reading it and wanting to play it since I've heard of it. It's a burn it's Burning Wheel 3.0, so it's like the third iteration of the system, but it goes uh, further. So it, it is the most complex, most uh, finished, most designed version of uh, the Burning Wheel uh, system, and it's basically uh, it's 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 pretty unique uh, type of game. Uh, it is based on the Iron Empire uh, graphic novels, and it's basically the, the 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 goal of the game, the purpose of this game, is to recreate. Uh, a graphic novel so you, when you if you go through the whole arc that is uh, designed in the in the system you end up with a, a graphic novel of the series of your own because the Iron Empire uh, because the Iron Empire uh, series is just graphic novels that are standalone so if you play with your friend, you go through the arc, you end up with some lore. Like it's, it's, it would be part of the lore if you if you stick to the to what Iron Empire uh, is. So basic that's basically it. So it, it, it aims at recreate. It's just like Mouse Guard, right? It aims at recreating uh, the experience is supposed to be like like the, the graphic novel in itself. But Burning Empire is is, is, a, is a really specific type, type of animal in that sense, and uh, and so this video is going to be about not explaining what the game is, but how you know how I felt about it, uh, playing it, and learning it. So keep in mind that I've been playing Burning Wheel extensively for like two years. So I knew what the game was about when I tried to learn Burning Empire. And it was a... Uh, it's a really, really, really tough, complicated, technical, deep game to learn. It's not easy. It's definitely not easy. Um, even if you... if for a guy like me who, who, knowed, who knew, knew the, uh, the, the core mechanic. So, where where to begin? First, um, uh, you know, I wanted to learn the game because I wanted to experience the macro mechanic. It's one of those games I, I I have an affection for macros, like macro mechanic. And this game has a so so basically you have the the core system that is built for, to, for some kind of task resolution and you know going around doing your thing and skill based kind of mechanic and then you, the game is structured in phases and uh, and so you have uh, like all the, the, these three phases because it's the same story all the time every time you play it's an, it's an invasion of a planet by an alien force and so the players are the human or the, or the, the alien force and the GM is the opposite and the GM is against, so there's no GM that, 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 that prep a story whatsoever or anything like that. Like, the game runs itself, so that's, that's magic, that's really nice, I like it. The game runs itself, and it's basically both, both sides want to win. And they have like disp disposition points and you play scenes. It's a scene framing game. Every time, uh, you know, every time you uh, a player opens his mouth is to create a scene. And then you role play with the others and you have NPCs that comes in and all that. And then you role play the scene and when the scene is over, another player do another kind of scene. And there's four type of scenes. You know, color scene, building scene, conflict scenes and... Um, interstitial scene you know like so you have like uh, 
and then so so this four type of scene that helps to build what we call a maneuver and in a in a, in a phase you have a certain number of maneuver that you need in order to eventually end up um, accomplishing the phase and then you go to the, the second phase and then the third phase and it starts raining so I gotta go home <laughs> and so, so, so it's a really really structured experience and uh, and, and so you, all what's important to understand is that these rules they're simple they're really intuitive they're not complex it's not hard rules it's just so much of them like there is a lot of them and but it, and that in itself like i said it's not a problem the, because i have to i have to admit i it's not my it's not my favorite game i have to admit it uh, there is something that's going on like when you when you play that game it's like i don't know how to explain it i don't know how to describe it um it's like there is so much thing you can do there's so many, so many. There's so many possibilities. There's so many possibilities. That stuff you can do, and and so many rules to support it. So many different type of instances, or different type of stuff that you can do, and all that. But this, the structure, the macro, the the the. The, 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 the type of mac macro structure that surrounds that thing that surrounds this game kind of comes and kind of limit uh, the things you can do and therefore you end up with just a shit ton of information that you barely use so it, it it's good because it allow it gives you the put the possibility to do them all but really you don't need these that much in a game in in, in a session or in, you know in just I don't know so I felt it felt to me a little cumbersome so the game the game is really cumbersome in that sense you you have to you have to deal with all these possibilities all these technical technical little details of how to do this and how to do that and for some reason, the, I'm like, ah, oh, it's heavy. It's just heavy. And you play, and you have to go through the type of scene. And that is something else that, that to me, I was, I was like, ah, oh, like, if you want to accomplish the phase, you have to follow the rules of the, the maneuvers. And you do, you do the scenes, and, and then you roll at the end. You do a macro roll. It's an abstract roll to see which uh, side won and uh, and even if if you role play better even if the skill the skill roles were better in in the scenes for one side maybe the other side is going to roll better on the maneuver role and it creates a weird thing like it's well explained in the book i understand the, the the, the, the thing I understand how they exp they express it in the book. They say, oh, you know, it doesn't matter if you if if you if you if you won the conflict, or it doesn't matter if you won the scenes because the maneuver role dictate who run who won. But it, it's it kind of falls short on what's the what's the point then to me if that role dictates all it all like. Why my role play was so good? Why my my die roll, my skill roll was so good? Why, why everything I did was better and then I fail? It, you know, the, the game explains well how what that means and what to um, expect from that and all that. The game explains it well, but even if it explains it well, I might not feel comfortable about it. I might not feel good about it, and I might, I might just I mean, doesn't rub me the right way, like Moonslinger says. So yeah, that's the that's the thing. So I'm, 
I, I don't know, I'm not disappointed with the game. It's a really good quality game. It's well designed. It's definitely over designed. It's so, there's too much thing. It's cumbersome. It's cumbersome with stuff. I mean, it's, you know, it's just like, and especially, especially the, the firefight conflict. The firefight conflict is a mini war game embedded in the role play game. And, and so, so well, well, so it's it's a lot. Of, there's a lot of strategy in this game as well because it's a political game. It's all about politics. So if you don't understand politics and what to do to to win Game of Thrones type of politics kind of get kind of like like well yeah I mean that's on top on top of all the rules and all the strategy in the conflict and 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 all that you also have to understand how to win. There because you have to win that's the goal of the game you you know you one the player are gonna win or the GM is gonna win so how do you how do you handle that and so 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 it, it's a lot to think about it's a lot it's, it's a game that if you don't play often like every every week you lose it a little bit you lose what's going on because there's so much stuff it's not a light experience like I'm going at the table and you can play it light at the table and all that that's not a problem but it's just because you know RPG affects you as well, I mean, outside of the session. You have it in your head, you have to study a little bit, you have stuff to do and stuff. Well, this game occupies your mind. Like, it occupies your mind a shit ton. You have to, you const constantly have to, to think about your strategy, what, what your character is gonna do. And also, you have different, you have many characters. Like, there's a lot of protagonists. At character creation, all the, the character has to to have two relationships and these relationships needs not to be the same so it creates all there's you can have like five different factions and then you can have all, something like 15 important character character and and figure of notes and a character in the game and so it creates this web it, the game is providing you with a sheet and it's kind of like a web that you need to write the names of the faction, the character, and to write the link between them to remember them, because it's important for the game. You cannot just create in PC and just forget about them like many many games allow. In this one, they have something to do, and you have to deal with them. So that occupies a lot of energy. So it's a game. It's a, it's an it's it's a demanding game in terms of cognitive energy and narrative energy and studying and, and you know prep. you don't you don't prep so much but you have to prep your moves you have to prep what you're gonna do you don't prep for a story the story runs itself and it's the same we understand this an invasion it's always gonna be about that there's always gonna be an invasion of the planet right so I would say the experience of learning this game was excruciating Trying to play it was hard as well. Trying to find a group <laughs> to play that was hard. And uh, yeah. So yeah, so I I enjoyed myself though. I, I didn't play a lot. We didn't play a whole lot. But uh, I enjoyed it. I, I, I enjoyed it. I, but you need to be in the right mood in your life to be able to, uh, to fully, fully get in that kind of game and and uh, appreciate what it is because it, it's a rich game it's really rich it's it's about it's about politics and space during an alien invasion and you have the, the importance of technology is really really important as well in this game and and it's it's a, it's a kind of game where you can just create relationships and character and you can also create a technology on the fly so the player say I have this thing that does this and that and so the, so the technology exists now and then eventually if he wants to use it mechanically he needs to do a role that allows him to, uh, to actually you know get the get the device in, in question but but it's uh, anyway there's so many things it's, I mean I'm not gonna go into the details of the rules I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do a, a playlist of that I'm just I just wanted to talk about my experience of learning it and uh, and to me, it was well worth it. It's like a workout, you know. If you can go through that game, 
and managed to play it a little and learn the game and how it goes. I mean, it's an RPG workout, so it's well worth it just for that. Uh, also, because there's some really interesting design idea. The game is a tight, clean knit system that allows for strategic war gaming political scheming experience that will feel look and be like an iron empire graphic novel I mean it does that very very well it's, it's so so in, in terms of design I mean Luke Crane on that one got it really right I mean the way the way he, he designed the different kind of scenes these scenes look like actual windows in a in a in a, gra in a comic book a freaking comic book page you have a color scene you have a building scene you have a conflict scene so when you play the game you you actually just fill up the pages with with scenes that actually feels like a fucking graphic novel so that that is dope that is really really dope and i, I mean you you get a respect that kind of uh, kind of work but the, the, at the end of the day though the game is not played a lot there's not a lot of people you know you are there is you have the the people who follow it you know tightly but I mean it's not a, it's a relic it's an RPG relic that's for sure <laughs> anyway so just to summarize I, I would say that it's a uh, it's worth the try if it's a game that you, a lot of people will play, and then, and, I mean, it's too niche of some. It's too niche surrounding a really niche series of graphic novel as well. And um, really demanding to learn, and uh, it's demanding to play as well. Because the thing is that you want you you want to be in the game. There's too many layers. You want to be in the game. You know, talking and character, embodying character and feeling the story and participating in a narrative and all that. But you have to think about the strategy of your. Um, you have to think about your strategy of your uh, of your politics, and you have to think about the strategy of the conflict you are in, and you have to think about the next move and what they do. And so, you, it, it, it demands on you, the players. It demands you to to think about everything all the time, and on top of that, to manipulate technical rules so you so it's that it is what it is it, it's, it leaves you with a excruciating experience you're tired after that and there's a you know you have to do some homework at the end calculate the numbers the disposition and all that make sure that you follow up on the thing and yeah so that's what it is I I have a bittersweet uh, relationship with the game I respect the game a lot I think it's a great game. It's an amazing game, powerful game. But um, I don't know if I if I will play it again. Or I don't even know if I if I manage to to find some other people sometime to play it or whatever. But yeah, so that's that's my experience, my learning experience. The, the learning curve for this game, the 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 steep est. I don't even think there is a game that exists out there that is more, that is harder to learn. I think it's probably the hardest RPG that exists. And I'm challenging everybody. Do you think there is a harder RPG than Burning Empire? Empire? I don't think so. I think it is the toughest, deepest, most complicated game out there. And. Uh, if it's not complicated it's demanding that's my call all right let me know if, what you guys think let me know if you know uh, what is the most com complex RPG you you've learned that's a good question all right talk to you soon